Welcome everyone to another exciting night of elevation. Let's get right to it with our very own Dasha. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first the team of Charisma and Leva Bates. Interesting matchup here today with Leva Bates. Come to the ring with Charisma. Be interested to see how these young ladies work together. They got their work cut out for them tonight. And their opponents, accompanied by Vicky Guerrero, the team of the problem, Marina Shafir, and the native beast, Nyla Rose. I gotta tell you, fans, no matter how many times I see this, I'm still intimidated by that ring entrance of the native beast, Nyla Rose. Complimenting that intensity is the problem, Marina Shafir. So intense, so dangerous. Both these competitors are a devastating duo in the ring. Looking for Vicky Guerrero, I don't see Vicky out here. There's a little conflict with Vicky Guerrero and Nyla Rose. A lot to think about, answers to find. Bell rings, time for competition. Good attack by Charisma, good thought. Attacking Nyla Rose and Native Beast right away. There's that nice big boot by Nyla Rose, kick to the knee. Great way to win, destabilize your opponent. And nothing works like a swift kick to the back of the head. What's that explosiveness of Nyla Rose right there in action? Calculated destruction, Nyla Rose brings to the ring. Prisma taking a headbutt in the turnbuckle there. And tags the problem, Marina Shafir. Charisma trying to get away. Tagging in Leva Bates. Leva's. Hey, 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 come on, come on. Good attack strategy, trying to attack Marina Shafir, but Marina knows how to cover up. Good kick by Leva Bates. Good running high boot. Marina Shafir's in a little bit of trouble. Look at that counter. Look how Marina Shafir drops her hips and negates that suplex attempt. There's the power and the drive. You notice on that maneuver, Marina Shafir got her hip up under Leva Bates. There's a free shot to Charisma for just hanging on the corner. Take that one with you. This is a dominant grappling position right here. Marina Shafir's got Leva Bates by the jaw. Boy, Charisma's just paying attack standing on that corner. Big high front kick by Marina Shafir right into Leva Bates' throat, it looked like. There's a tag in. This is smart tag team work, isolating your opponent, working the corner. Good counter by Leva Bates. That's a good way to blow out a knee, though. Nyla Rose in a little bit of trouble here, trying to get her wind back. I'm sure that knocked the wind right out of you. Double knee to the bread basket. Charisma coming in, trying to clothesline attack Nyla Beast. That's just the power of Nyla Beast right there. Just shrugged it off. And Shafir likes what she sees, encouraging Nyla Rose. Big choke slam from the native beast. Bates trying to make a save. Probably seemed like a good idea, but right now I'm paying the consequences of those actions. You get in the ring and try to help your opponent. That didn't work out that well for the librarian. This is extremely painful for Charisma here, Marina Shafir. The winners of this match by submission, the team of Nyla Rose and Marina Shafir. Right there, if you noticed on that pinfall, Marina Shafir had trapped the leg and locked the elbow. 
There's nothing Charisma could do to get out of that except tap out and live to fight another day. The problem, Marina Shafir, again, showing why she is the problem. Native Beast, Nyla Rose, Marina Shafir, the problem. They are your winners here tonight on Elevation. To sit the block. Wow! Wednesday on TBS, it's the Dynamite New Year Smash. I've waited too damn long! Can Wardlow win back the TNT Championship from Samoa Joe? You think you're jumping ahead of Ethan Page? Brian Danielson faces Ethan Page. And will the Elite even the score or lose it all in match six against the Death Triangle? Balls count anywhere. Wednesday Night Dynamite's New Year's Smash, live at 8 on TBS. Coming up next, it's women's competition. As promised, Braxton takes on the House of Blacks, Julia Hart. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied by Brody King, honoring the House of Black, Julia Hart. You know, Daddy Magic, you and I were a little speechless on that entrance. I couldn't help but reflect on the fact what a change in personality with Julia Hart. It's really something, Paul, to go from a cheerleader to, to whatever this is. Her opponents are in the ring. Promise Braxton. With the likes of the House of Black going from the Varsity Blondes. The, I mean, the change is just so drastic. I mean, you know, that's one of those kind of things. Do you step in and do an intervention? Yeah, if you're her family or something. I you mean, know? I would be worried because it is almost like she's part of a cult now with the House of Black. We've seen Julia here before on Elevation. We have never, like, since they've come back, what, that, with, they went away, and now she's got Brody King I out mean, with her at ringside. That was just a very eerie, eerie entrance. Her demeanor has changed completely. There's a confidence and a, uh, a, a composure. Power, composure, yeah, yes, absolutely. it just emanates off of her. Absolutely. On one hand, as a talent, I want to say good for you, Julia Hart, then on the other hand, what sacrifices did you make to become like that? How did, how did this happen? Wow, there's a shot. <laughs> yeah. That was a duck under waist lock that turned in to knock your teeth out. Julia Hart not messing around tonight. Not messing around. Look at this, look at the viciousness. You didn't it, see the style before from No, you didn't see that from Julia Hart. There's the athleticism we've seen from Julia Hart before. I'm glad to see she's captain. But yep. just the the deliberate intent of malice. She looking to finish here. This is it right here, Paul. That oh my goodness. That, that's a tap with the feet. That's gotta be a tap. Winner of this match by submission, Julia Hart. Wow. No offense to promise Braxton, but she had a just an overwhelming opponent tonight. There was zero hiccups in Julia Hart's game tonight. That's right. I mean, Julia Hart not getting paid by the hour here. Absolutely not. Look at the look on Brody King. Look at Brody There's King. your winners tonight on Elevation. Julia Hart, House of Black represents. Vicious Vixens, we have not caught up since Full Gear, and it's clear. Oh, you want to talk about Full Gear, Lexi? Let's talk about Full Gear. How Nyla Rose is not the TBS champion anymore. Do you see a title around her waist? No. I mean, I'm supposed to be managing champions. What do we have, ladies? Anything? Anything? Vicky, with all due respect. Respect? You want to talk about respect? I have been in this business for 17 years. And you want to talk about respect? How about disrespect? Because that's how I feel. Because nothing is working anymore. Why did you say that to her? Do you want to see anything? 
the tumultuousness continues within the Vicious Vixens. Up next in women's singles competition, the Bunny goes one-on-one -on -one with Madison Rain. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied by Penelope Ford from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the Bunny. Oh, oh watch out for that bite there, Paul. <laughs> I guess. You're gonna get a rabies shot. You know, the Bunny is part of one of my favorite tag teams in AEW, the Butcher and the Blade. Love watching those guys, but Bunny and Penelope together, those are like, look at these two. <laughs> I mean, they are two gals of destruction. Yeah, you don't want to run into these two. And her opponent from Columbus, Ohio, Madison Rain. Always good to see Madison Rain, such an accomplished veteran here in AEW. Does a lot of good work behind the scenes. Helping young ladies perfect their craft. She's a coach, right? Helps elevate that women's division. It's good to have a coach like Is Madison that... Rain who's actually been there and done it. Is that what it says on her hat? Coach. Coach. Yeah, she's I the like coach. It. Madison Rain, the coach. All right. Elevation. You have a nice holidays, Paul? I did. I did. How about you? It's great time. Great time. Got to see the family. Oh, you got the bunny. Big Woo! tag from Bunny right off the bat. I like it. I mean, nice try by the bunny here. Madison Rain, not, not even out of her coat. Still got the hat on. Oh, boy. I don't know if this is one of those things you should fall for. Well, no! Oh, insecurity top of Bunny's head. Connected right there. Now we'll take off the coat. Madison Rain warmed up here. San Antonio. Woo! Madison's smart enough not to worry about taking her coat off, get the fight going first. Well, she's been, she's been around, you know? She, she, she's a vet. She knows what's up. Yeah, ring awareness. We talk about it. Dick what just happened right there, there with Penelope. Penelope snatching Madison Rain wow. out the corner. The apron. I mean, I, even I forgot Penelope was out there. That's devious. The devious duo right there. And these two together, it's really something. As the body taking it in here. It seems like the only time the bunny smiles and she's inflicting carnage. <laughs> Stomp on the ankle. That's just the worst. Oh! Nice running high knee lift by the bunny. I love it. Really connected there. Knocked the right on her keister. That's so jarring to the neck. I mean, back of the head. Oh. 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 Look at it sink those elbows into the back. Look, Look at the psycho. Madison Reigns. Yeah, I would. Yeah? You know? I would have to agree with you on that term, psycho. Somebody's like we got to get her some help. You know, back in the day, we used to have the loony bin. The loony bin? That's I right. don't think that's politically correct anymore. Well, listen. If anybody belongs in the loony bin, it's the bunny, I'll tell you right now. Well, that, you said that, I didn't. I wouldn't want to see she... her and Penelope in the parking lot when I try to make it in my rental car for saying something stupid. You think she's going to hear this? And she might. You might get mugged. Oh, boy. Bunny would just take your soul and sell it. Oh, got caught right there. Nice back elbow by the bunny. Not much recourse for Madison Rain on that one. Now we've, we've seen Bunny do this many times. It's choking. This, this has got to be illegal, right? Of course it's illegal. He's got to follow the to break the ropes. But is that maneuver worth the amount of damage you can do in four to five seconds? I mean, I think, I mean, it's got to be or she'd stop doing it, right? Apparently it works. A smart athlete in the ring will use the referee to their advantage. Madison Rain here, she's got to do something. She's in a lot of trouble, the bunny. Nice counter out of that. If I was Madison Rain, I would have had Sky Blue. Oh, cover! Nice cover! Woo! Get a cover! What's going on here? Ah, there it is. Well, come on, Bryce. Oh, almost a near collision. There we go. There we go. Get a little Rain school boy. Up. That's it. Wow. Oh, right, oof, right in the stomach wow, there. Wow, I felt that kick from here. Did you say it's the solar plexus? Solar plexus, good call, Daddy Man. There it is! Good night. Woo! The winner of this match, the Bunny! I mean, if I'm Madison Ring, I, you gotta have somebody at ringside with you, right? 
you know, definitely if you're going to go out there against Penelope and Bunny, you need to have some kind of a backup just to limit oh, no. Oh, no. the amount of carnage that goes on. And right now, here's Look a prime this. example of being Ma alone Ma without any points. Merry Christmas, Madison. Here we go. Who's this? Here we go. Here comes Sky Blue, and that's, that's enough. This is what we're talking about. <laughs> Hi, tailing it out of there, the Bunny and Penelope Ford. Sky Blue just hit the ring and cleared it. Very wise on Penelope and Bunny's part to scatter. Damage is already done. What do you need her protecting, Madison? Wow. Sky Blue, Madison Rain. Hey, but Good Sky team, Blue. but there's your winner right there on Elevation. Thank you. The Bunny. Elevation. San Antonio. Ladies and gentlemen. All ego, Ethan Page here on AEW Dark Elevation with an amazing announcement to make. I'm so, guys, 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 over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. I'm sorry. We're here for our match. I, I wanted everybody here. I know you love to call us last second. Yeah, he does. Everyone is in such a bad mood. I'm in a great mood. I don't know what's going on. I'm happy. Uh -huh. I'm pumped. I'm going to announce something for everyone, the benefit of everyone, the group, all of us. My guys. My guys. Yeah. Got the night off. Tonight, well, hold up to celebrate. It's a big day. It's Boxing Day. It's a big Canadian holiday, and I wanted to share it with you guys. I wouldn't have known. This is what no one's happy. Why? You, you, you took me away from my wife and, and my kids on Christmas, Christmas to celebrate Boxing Day. Are you kidding me? You're mad. You You're mad. Of course she's mad. He has four kids. They call him Daddy. They call him Papi Chulo. They even call him Dada. But and hold on. You know what they don't call him? What is Broke, unemployed, and looking for a job because of me. And I'm trying to be nice to you guys. I'm trying to do the right thing. I'm trying to bond with you both. Last and week since, hold on, hold on. And since Quinn is going to be out for a while, we're going to change things up. The dynamic, I'm thinking. Maybe you guys focus more on a tag team. But definitely, definitely continue to continue to listen to me. Because last week we won. We yeah. won. And it we did felt all the work. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, because of us. You came in last minute. I'm, I'm sorry. How, how, how does the hierarchy here work? Matt Hardy, Zay. Now I said the name you wanted. Thank you. Ethan Page. Every win falls under Ethan Page's umbrella, and you guys get to reap the benefits. So the benefits tonight is a night off. Celebrate Boxing Day, baby. Woo! I'll see you guys in catering. He, he's not dead ass. He can't be dead ass, man. I can't take this shit for much longer. Coming up next, it's a big one, as Frankie Kazarian takes on Kanosuke Takeshita. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Yucca Valley, California, weighing in at 218 pounds, Frankie Kazarian. I gotta say, Paul. Cast man looks good, right? Oh, oh yeah, look at the 10. Look at the 10. But when I saw this match on the card this afternoon, I was pumped. Absolutely. I'm always pumped when I get to see Frankie Kazarian. The Kaz man can go. The Kaz man. Take a look. Woo! And his opponent from Osaka, Japan, weighing in at 232 pounds, Konosuke Takeshi. Listen to that response yep. from the AEW crowd here at Elevation. Yep. They, they know Katesta is a star. They heard the music. They saw the face. Uh, San Antonio on fire. This is going to be a matchup right here, Paul. This is going to be an incredible matchup. It's going to be a real test for uh, for Takeshita. Just deal with the experience and the many tools that Frankie Kazarian has in, in his bag, you know. But the championships this guy's won all over the world. Every promotion he's been in. 
Kess is just such an incredible athlete, though. He's got that a unique style all his own. He's, he's star material, man, no doubt about it. Hey, what, they better not be looking past Frankie Kazarian. I don't think he is. No, I don't, I don't think, think he is, he is. That's the one thing but about Konoske. He's very humble. He's got a great work ethic. He sure does. Nice caller and elbow right there. I actually follow Konoske on social media. Do you? I'm, in, I'm always interested in his journey, how he's discovering new things. Good leg, to, leg take down by Frankie Kazarian there. You know, Controlling we, the tempo. We live in the same town, me and uh, Takesh. Did you know that? Really? You should yeah. invite him over right. for dinner sometime. I, I, I gave him my phone number. Never called me. Well, you know what? That actually doesn't surprise me. You don't think he likes me? I think he's got a quality taste. Wow. Wow. I thought we were friends. Big takedown right there. Look at that headlock takedown. Frankie Kazarian in charge. Wow. Whoa. Frankie's trying to control the tempo. The thing is, I like this. Konoske just has a counter for everything. Headlock takeover, leg scissor, headlock Woo. takeover. The I mean, pace. The athleticism and the skill set that's being shown off here is tremendous. I like it there, though. Frankie Frankie realized uh, Takeshita, maybe he was going to take over with the speed. Well, not today. Not today. Going to hold on to this headlock a little bit. Well, he's smart because he's trying to keep Konoske down. He doesn't want to let Konoske as much power as he has to get that momentum. He's so explosive. Yeah. So explosive. So, oh, oh, power right, right there. Woo! Woo! That'll change. That'll change the complexion of a match in a hurry right there. Big side suplex, that explosive power. Frankie trying to shake it off. Frank's a little Ooh, bit of trouble here. Nice boy. forearm shot by Kesta. Woof, that cut him right on the jaw, man. Frankie's tough, though, He loves man. this. You got to watch the... Ah, oh, there it is! The big clothesline! That's why you got to... It's dangerous to let Takesta get some momentum going. He's such an athlete. He can come at you from multiple angles you can't predict. And Frankie Kazarian, there's an old saying, he's tougher than a bag of hammers. Off. Bag of hammers! It's pretty tough. That, that is tough. What? Oh, nicely counter. done. Nicely done. Wow. You felt it. Takesta overextended himself a little bit on that gut thrust. It's like it's like Kazarian wanted a little space to look for an opening, and he found it. There's that thunderous oh. chop. No. Oh. That was a float over DDT. Beautifully done. He nailed it. Wow, only a one count there. Wow, he floated over the top rope, was able to snag Frankie Kazarian in the DDT and pull it off. Only got a two count, though, right? Wow, big chop there. Boy, Frankie is breathing hard. Sure is. I mean, the, the, guys looking like a stud right now. He's bringing it to him, Paul. He's bringing it to him. Big thing. Oh, wow. Right back. Woo. Wrong style. I want no part of these chops, I'll tell you right now. Man, it just shows you how tough Frankie yep. Kazarian is. Yep. Both men feeling it here. This is where Kanosuke needs to dig deep. I like that. I like that right there. There's that Wiley veteran. Oh, got him right on the throat. Look at that set of moves. There was a duck, a mule kick in his stomach, followed up by a 360 lariat. Look at the confidence of Frankie Kazarian just walking around. He knew he nailed him with that one. That's just experience in the fire. Frankie Kazarian swinging from the hip with that right hand to the jaw. Here we go. We got Russian leg sweep. Here's a cover. Beautifully executed, too. Great cover on Frankie's part, too. Hook the leg, pin the arm. I'll tell you. Full body weight. I, th I thought I'd see a little more authority on that kickout right there. Maybe Frankie's wearing him down. Definitely a good game plan on Frankie's part. He's really these right hands, man, <laughs> just smashing. Oh, they're him. just hammers. Connecting. I'll oh. date myself a little bit. You remember Ronnie Garvin back in the day? Oh, hands of stone. Hands of stone. Hands of stone. The Kaz man's got some big right knuckles. Big scoop and a slam there. Watch it. There's that explosiveness of Katesta. Just the oh, look at that. Oh. Sit out. What is that? A big blue thumb? We got a cover here, dude! Oh! I don't know what Ooh. Frankie dug on that one. Frankie had to dig deep. Wow. Like, if he was a cat, that was one of his lives. For sure. Takeshka can't believe it. He thought that was it here. We've seen this before. He likes to use the German suplex, right? Here we Good go. We got a cover. Frankie. Doug Frankie. DDT of his own, maybe. Oh, oh. nicely done. A neck breaker there. Sure was. Well done by Frankie. One. Ooh. That was close. Hey, these two are going back and forth, man. This back is a and back forth. and forth battle. This is the young wolf and the experienced wolf. Man, slugging it out. What a treat here tonight on Elevation. This what is a, a treat. Clinic. This is the type of action you can expect when you come live to AEW, man. I'm telling you. I'm digging it. If you're a younger guy in the back, you want to watch both of these guys. There's nothing like it. 
Comes up power to Kesta, slung Frankie off. Look at these Dark on this. Look at the power to Here Kesta. Comes the German, that is! That's a German with a bridge. You got it! The winner of this match, Konosuke Takeshita. What a win. What a win. Let's take a look here, Paul. Look at these reversals back and forth. Frankie Kazarian getting cut with the German suplex and the bridge. Two, three, all she wrote. I just want to say, where's Don Callis? Good question. Where right? Has Don Callis already inked a deal? Did he tell him to go shove it? Did, Maybe. Did, did he get the time to go shove it? Is that what you think? I Happy don't holidays. know. I don't know. Elevation. Are you going to see handshake here, Paul? You got to respect a warrior battle like that. You got to give I mean, it what, up. What a contest. Back and forth. Frankie knows Takesta was a better man tonight. What Respect. a great ring general Frankie Kazarian is. What a great talent. That I'm excited about. Respect. And Takesta earned every bit of it. Up next on Elevation Women's Tag Team Competition, Willow Nightingale and Ruby Soho. Contest is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first the team of Willow Nightingale and Ruby Soho. Well, you can't get much better for high energy Ruby Soho and Willow. I don't like it. You don't like it? No, I don't like What's it. What's not I, to I, like I, about it? I don't buy the positivity. I'm not into that type of thing. And I'll tell you right now, these two, they, they've, got, they've got a problem with my girls. <laughs> All right. Their opponents already in the ring, the team of Vert Vixen and Maddie Rankowski. Vert Vixen and Maddie Rankowski, no strangers here to Elevation. Seen both these young ladies compete. Glad to have them here. I'll tell you right now, I'm rooting for them. No Are question you? about that. No question. Just because you don't that's like all the positivity. Yeah, that's right. It pisses me off, that positivity. Well, the maybe phony that's positivity. a conversation you should have with yourself in the mirror. Oh, my therapist. Why is it angry? Well, there's Ruby Soho with an aggressive headlock. I like that right off the bat. Nice tight headlock. Ooh, big tackle. Ferocious. Maddie Rankowski was a little off balance on that. Gave Ruby the edge with the momentum. Nice front roll by Ruby. Nicely done right there. Nice, nice block. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. I don't like that. That's the experience right there. Ruby Soho. You know, it's always important to get those joint locks in whenever possible. Here she comes. Everybody's Real positivity favorite. positivity right there. Everybody's oh. favorite. Oh. Wow. She could get it done, though. I'll tell you that. Oh, Willow, Willow Nightingale is definitely high energy. Come on, Maddie. Nicely Very done. athletic, too. Like Willow. That. I bet you could do a cartwheel back in the day, Paul. I can still do a cartwheel. There we go. Now we're talking. I want to see it. Just in, in my experience, I tend not to do cartwheels because they're not necessary. I like either throwing a straight right or a choke yeah. slam. Simple and to the point. He got caught right here. Oh! This is done. Textbook backbreak. You don't see those too often. No, you know what? That's a textbook maneuver. That's a good power maneuver for Willow. But Bert Vixen is also a very powerful, accomplished athlete. Wow, Burns. caught that in Seguri. I think Willow caught Burt Vixen off guard with that insecurity. Big scoop and a slam. Big scoop and a slam. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right? Stick it to the basics here, Willow. I like it. Wow. Cover. Good save by Maddie Rankowski. He knew Burt Vixen was in trouble on that. Sure did. We'll be taking a little exception to it. Well, you know, she maybe she thought she had him there. She had her. That was going to be a wow, little job Chip breaker buster, here. yeah. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking a little tag team work. What? Oh, watch it. Yes. Yes. To the floor. That's great teamwork by Burt Vixen and Maddie Rankowski. Let's go. Let's go, ladies. Happy New Year, Ruby. <laughs> That's right. You know, love to see the aggression from Maddie Rankowski. I knew for a while she was under the tutelage of Vicky Guerrero. Vicky Guerrero? 
while back, you know, Manny Rankowski was tagging with the native beast, Nyla Rose, caught a vicious beat down. So I think hey, well, some we, of that aggression is uh We all have to learn printed. our lessons. We all have to learn our lessons, right? You do. You can't be afraid to step on somebody's toes in this business. I like it here, man. Maybe tonight's the, the night the, these ladies put it together here. Ruby stuck Compet in this corner. Yes, competition's definitely high. Oh, yeah. Good double maneuver, smart tag team work, isolating Ruby Solo in their corner. I am loving every second of this. Choker. I love to see smart tag team work in action. I dig it. Look at this. They got the ref. They got Posey's back. Now you go to work. This is how you do it, guys. Well, let's Thank be honest. Home. This is how you do it. Posey's a spoon in a, knife, in a drawer full of knives. Wow. Wow. I was getting behind Ruby. Yeah. Tremendous shape, though. I watched Mike Posey one time in the gym do a thousand ju jumping jacks in a row. A thousand jumping jacks. Jumping jacks, yeah. I don't know if he forgot to stop or what, but it was impressive. How about this roll? There we go. Oh, nicely done. Get a cover. Get a cover. Great Here we base go. Plan. Here we go. I think Bert should have gone with the original cover option and done a chest to chest cover. I hear you. More pinning leverage. Ruby slowly waking her, making her way across the ring here. She's trying, trying to. Be, to. Trying to be sneaky about it, you know? You know, that's smart. It is. Trouble. Nice counter schoolboy. Nice positioning here. Keep her in the corner underneath. There it is. There's the tag right There's there. There's the tag to Willow. Here comes high energy. That's what Huge they needed. Larian. That's what they needed. They needed this tag. Willow's got a lot of gas oh. in the tank sitting on that egg, but she's ready to go. Big thunderous, heavy chops. These chops right here. Man, I gotta tell you, I've seen Willow's work in the past year improve so much. Yeah. She's become such a solid competitor in the women's division. Look at her stringing these moves together, one after another, looking for a big one here. Oh! Big athletic drop kick. Nicely done to cover. Oh boy, it's unraveling here. That's bring awareness. Great show of veteran leadership by Willow. Get out of the way, Thank Maddie's you. elbow. Things unraveling here for Vert Vixen and Maddie. The teamwork. Willow and Ruby Soho with a double shoulder tackle to Vert Vixen. Got it. Got to be looking to finish here. There's the power of that backbreaker that we talked about earlier. Here we go. Down. There's a face plant. That's got to be all she wrote, guys. There it is. Good cover by Ruby Soho. The winners of this match, the team of Willow Nightingale and Ruby Soho. Yeah, I got to say I'm impressed, Paul. They did it. Here it is, the big backbreaker by Willow. Great power. Textbook holding her there, and Ruby just scoops her up. A little face plant action. A little runaway face plant. Is that what you call it, the runaway face plant? That's what I'm calling it. Hopefully it I don't get in trouble. There it is, the runaway face plant. You heard it here first, folks. There's your winners tonight here on Elevation. Willow, Ruby Soho on Elevation. Elevation, San Antonio. Coming up next, the ROH Women's World Title is on the line as Athena defends against Kiera Hogan. Set for one fall is for the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship. They introducing the challenger from Hotlanta, Kiera Hogan. Hotlanta, Paul. Here's one of my. Here's another one of my favorite competitors here in AEW, Kiera Hogan. Love the intensity she has. She knew enough to get out from underneath the body group to I go out on her own, make a name for herself. It's a ballsy move. Now, wow, this is what we're talking about here. And her opponent from Dallas, Texas. She is the Fallen Goddess and the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. Athena. I'd have to say the Fallen Goddess is glowing right now in her home state of Texas. All smiles come to the ring, but we've seen that smile change instantly. Athena, guys, maybe my favorite competitor here on Elevation and all of AEW. 
really? Take a, I mean, come on. The last is couple it, weeks, the last two months, Paul. Oh, she's Woo! been amazing. Come no on. doubt about it. Smashing but. faces. But there is a part of it that kind of pushes the envelope. You know what I mean? That's there's what I, there's winning a match, and then there's maybe going one step too far. She walks that line. She walks she that line. She doesn't walk the line. She tramples all over wow, Listen, listen. What are you going to do? She's the champ. You can't argue with her right now. Look at that. Ring of Honor World Championship. On the line here. Women's title. Now, this, this is Ring of Honor. The Code of Honor. You got to shake hands before a match. That was a faint. Wow. Did you see that? I did. Oh! Kiara Hogue is not the one to play with. I guess not. <laughs> Kiara Hogue, a huge opportunity for you. Title on the line. Great opportunity for Kiara to make all the decisions she's made. You, you don't want it to, to culminate in this moment. These opportunities don't come around every day. You don't want to let it slip away. She's going, she's, all, all the marbles here. Nice she's letting it all out. by yeah. Athena. That kick did not connect. No, but a smart move by Athena. You got to get out sometimes, you know? Oh, things not going your way. Yeah, take a step out, breathe, regroup. Absolutely. Unfortunately, you got to keep your eye on your opponent, though, because someone aggressive like Kier Hogan is going to keep coming. Absolutely. Big shot right there. We're on the floor here. Th things get nasty early here. Oh! Woohoo! Yes! Say, in a championship match, you want to get your opponent in the ring. You can't win the title. I look at this. This is what I love, the new attitude of Athena. It doesn't matter where she's at. She's going to brawl, she come up the top rope, make you tap out. It doesn't matter. That's why she's the champion. Again, the count out will work in come Athena's here. favor here. Come here. Title can't change Come here. You see him right here. You now, watch over there. Look at this. Directing the camera, man. I, I like know. it. She's going for a producer's credit. She can do it all. Oh! Just deliver. I mean, I think this is a judgment call here from the official. He's trying to maintain That's order. It. People came here to see a championship match. That needs to happen between the ropes. And he knows these opportunities, like I said, don't come around every day. You, you don't want to ruin it for, for Hogan here. I agree. Normally, this should have been a count out. But He's again, the referee's trying to maintain order, get these opponents back in the ring so they can compete. But Kiara Hogan right now is in a lot of trouble. He's giving Kiara Hogan every chance here to get back in the ring. And I think that's what you got to do as an official. I like to see that personally. I do. There are some times that will also push the envelope. Right away, Athena attacking aggressively. I mean, why let your opponent get up to their feet? Oh, big shot right there. Big elbow Man. to the sternum. That looks stiff. Nice slap, Mary. Kick to the shoulder blades. I love it. I'm sure you love watching it. I will, you're right. I love watching. I love sitting right here with you, calling the action. Nice and safe in these comfy chairs. That's I right. get it. That's right. Athena trying to do, you remember what they used to call a zipper? A zipper? That's what the old timers used to call it when they pulled the cheeks apart. Oh, like you, get, you get the little fish hooks in there. That's it. Woo. Big face plant aggressive. Face plant into the mat. That's two. Oh, big set on. Set on, boy. Get a cover here, Athena. Get a cover, yeah. You know, Athena's got to be loving the last month here in Texas, her I home don't state. No, Athena has you know? changed so much in the past few months. You're, you're not in. Her, I, I'm in because it's working. Thank you. She's a Ring of Honor Women's Champion. That's right. That's right. The thing that I guess gives me a little bit of pause oh! is the escalation of violence. It isn't necessary. I mean, she must feel that it is. Like, that, this is what she's got to do to wow, maintain the championship. To keep look the how championship far Kira Hogan's neck is twisted to the Woo! side. If your neck ever been twisted that far to the side, you know your arms start going numb. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nerves get cut off, C2, C3. You get the Can't little feel your hands. Kingleys in the fingers. In the fingers, now, now yeah. Kiara's got to do something here, man. Thank God I got a head like a bucket. There wasn't too many people that could do that to me. Kiara's got to do something. There we go. She's got to make it happen here. Kiara's got to create an opportunity. She's got to. on that senton. Here we go. Around the world. DDT. Nice wow! Corner. She stuck that. Turned her right over. That was an all-out gutsy move by Kiera Hogan. That was Woo! succeed or fail. It was all on the line right both there. Both ladies, both ladies getting to their feet here. Yes! Feels like we're at a turning point here, Paul. Looks like Kiera's got a little bit of momentum. She sure does. Trying to fire up, if you will. Good counter by Big shot. Paul and Goddess. She's got to keep the momentum going keep here. Keep those shots going, Kiera. Nicely done into the corner. 
Great wrist drag into the corner turnbuckle, using the ring to your advantage. Planted with a drop kick. Sure did. Maybe time for a cover. Let's see where we're at here. I gotta be honest with you, Matt Menard. This is the first time I've seen the fallen goddess in months in any kind of real trouble. Harry. You're right. Yeah. Oh, oh! Oh no! Big shot, we could have a new champion! This could be it for Kiara yeah. Hogan. Here's a cover! Whoa! Oh, whoo! 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 That had me worried for a second. That had me worried. Wow. I thought this was gonna be a great success story for Kiara Hogan. Wow, you never know. Now's the time to dig deep. You can do it, Kiara. One shot on the John, it's lights out. I thought that was it right there. It's a risky maneuver going up top. I mean, she's gotta go for it. She's gotta she go for it. Go for all. Was she caught? I think she got caught here. Oh, no, what a hair. With a hair whip off oh, the top man. of the buckle. Right. Wow. Woo. Go ahead, I don't have any hair. That looked like that hurt. It's not nothing you gotta worry about. Well, I could get thrown off by my beard, but usually when that happens to me, I break the ring. Athena here, she likes the top rope, man. She likes the top rope. She's not shy up there, we got caught. She did get caught. Looked like she changed her mind on maneuvers on the top rope there. Yara Hogan now. We're going back and forth here, man. Title on the line. They are, they're like battling at the top of the skyscraper here. Oh boy, it's getting risky here. Risky City, what's gonna happen? They're in the high rent district. They sure are, oh boy, she's caught up. Oh, up the top. Oh boy. What is this, a chokehold? Got Kira Hogan by the chin. Yeah. Athena not messing around. There it is. There's a thumb in the eye, actually. It's gotta be it. There it is. And still, the winner of this match, and still, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena. There's a fallen goddess. Boy, she shifted gears. That huge sit out power bomb off the top rope. That was it. Don Kira Hogan, then a thumb in the eye afterwards, which was almost unnecessary. Definitely unnecessary. Kira Hogan went for it all. Got caught with that power. Oh, yes! What a oh, shot call! God. This is a part that's unnecessary. This is a part that's gonna get... Oh, right there it is! <laughs> you know what she calls that, Paul? What's the that? seal of approval! Seal of approval? That looks like to me a good way to get fined. She has my seal of approval, I'll tell you right now. We know. There's your winner tonight on Elevation. Ring of Honor Women's Champion, the Fallen Goddess, what? Athena. What, what a match. Up next on Elevation, Blake Christian goes one-on-one -on -one against Dralistico. It is main event time here on Elevation. Yeah, it is. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Jackson, Tennessee, weighing 180 pounds, all heart, Blake Christian. Nice to see Blake Christian on here. All heart here on Elevation. All heart, Blake Christian making his way. I think he's going to take off this necklace. Big match, main event. Hey, that's a good way to put your name in the book. There we go. A lot of eyes on this one, folks. It's a pretty sick graphic right there. That is a pretty sick graphic. And his opponent, accompanied by Jose El Asistente from Tallahalisco, Mexico, weighing 180 pounds, Dralistico! Dralistico, do you think that means the dragon? Dralistico. This guy looks like he means business, Paul. You think? The dragon. Look at Jose. That's a really cool mask, though. It is, it really is. It's one of the great things about all our luchador competitors and all the luchadors over the years, those Incredibly eccentric outfits that kind of culminate their personality and expresses it through the mask. I dig it. You think uh, you think him, this came out of Jose's pocket? I don't know. I would. I don't know. That's a good question. You know? How do you, do you turn in a receipt on a wardrobe like that? And give I don't know. A purse? I don't know. But why else would this guy hang out with Jose if he wasn't paying for his gear? Maybe Am I right? a, maybe Jose's a charming guy. You don't know. Not good. At, have you spoken to him for two minutes? I have not. But <laughs> Play Christian. 
Like Chris, a little focused here. It is a big main event here, Elevation Love Monday the, night. The intricacy on that mask, that's a big word for me to say. Intricacy. I'll try that again in a couple years when I learn <laughs> how to talk. Now, can you see, is there a bandage on Jalisco's left shoulder there? We're going hot here, we're just gonna exchange. Thunderous job. I love it. Look how crisp Jalisco is when he sends in those live rounds. No hard firing back. Absolutely. These guys know it's the main event. You're going to have more eyes on you. Everybody's watching. Big chop right there. Headbutt. Blake Christian's going to make the most of this Ooh. one. Going on and run the by Blake Christian. All the evidence. To the Florida Eagle. Take a timeout, kid. Here we go. I don't know why I called him kid. Blake Christian, watch it! I nailed him! Wow! That's how you escalate. Esc see in there? That's what I'm saying, escalate? I'm trying to say that, but I'm trying to say that's how you execute a high risk maneuver well by Drelistico. Certainly. I don't know about this, taking, taking a timeout for a, for a little salute. A little, how do you do? shoulder bandage there on yeah. Drelistico. What do you think's going on? A little rotator action, a little rotator injury? No, but that's usually the sign of for an opponent, please attack here. Right? He's got double tape job on it. Oh, boy! Didn't stop him there. We got a cover! Oh. Blake Christian, good set of guts to kick out on that. All heart, some would say. Definitely all heart. He's earning his, his moniker. These two really, really digging to each other with the chops here, man. Well, you see how red Blake Christian's <laughs> chest is. Chop City. Oh, got him. Here we go. Blake Christian got to be looking for an opening. Oh, yeah. Unorthodox a little bit there. I like it. I do. That's very innovative. Just using the ring, man. Using what you got. Your opponent's placed there. You just do it. You do the thing. Blake Christian looking to fly, I think. High risk, high reward. Oh, there we go. He nailed him. Oh, yeah. A little slot drop action. Beautiful. Smart move on Blake Christian's part to follow that stun up. The reverse DDT right on the mat. It's like you always say, you gotta string them together if you wanna win, man. Bridges, my man, bridges. There we go. That was two in a row, high impact. He's going for a third here, could do it. Now look at this print, Jose, come on. That was a little bit poorly done. <laughs> Aubrey was making eye contact with Blake Christian, thought Watch something it now, look out. No. Man, Jalistico, eh? this guy can fly, this guy can go. Dragon with wings, I guess. What does dragons do have wings, right? That's right. You think he'd be inspired, this guy? I don't know. That would be interesting. Hmm. Like Ricky the Dragon Steamboat? There we go. That was cool. <laughs> Just kind of blocked him down like sure a sack did. of potatoes. He sure did. Get I don't know going. if Relistico is pumping up the crowd or himself for what's about to come next. What do you think he's looking for here, Paul? Big moonsault, maybe? Nice. Stuck the landing. Oh! Spanish fly. Look at Look how fast he is. Look at how fast play Christian is. Wow. Oh, baby. 450. We got a cover. Whoa. That was Woo. impressive. Woo. Was that all he had in the tank? I don't know. He literally blew everything he had on that. I mean, I think so. The amount so. of energy it took to execute those series of maneuvers and not be successful on the count. How many more moves does this guy have, Blake Christian? We're going to find out if he's all hard or not. This is something. What a match, guys. Get, giving, giving us everything they got here. Main event. Woo, a lot of chops, eh, Paul? A lot of chops. There you go. There's the advantage. Jose, that's what you pay for. Here, let's go. Is that a Canadian destroyer? It looked like it. Cover. Wow. Good night. Bonsoir. Winner of this match, Dralistico. That was quick, man. Great ring awareness by Dralistico. There it is right there. A wow. Canadian destroyer flipping off the ropes. Unbelievable. So important to pay attention to in-ring awareness. Can I just Know say what's going on. Here comes Preston Vance and La Rouge. Rouge and Preston Vance. Do you remember all those weeks ago when I told you how handsome this guy was without a mask on? I was the one telling you how Come handsome on. he was. Look at him, a beautiful man. Preston Vance, unbelievable. Well, he's definitely a stud. That's Look a at this. Pretty impressive trio right there. Wow. And Jose. Jose. Thank you, everyone, for joining us on another exciting night of elevation.
Oh, no more BS. Paul White with me is Daddy Magic Matt Menard. Oh, yeah. San Thanks Estonia. for joining us. Have a great week. Just sit the block. Wow. Wednesday on TBS, it's the Dynamite New Year Smash. I've waited too damn long. Can Wardlow win back the TNT Championship from Samoa Joe? You think you're jumping ahead of Ethan Page? Brian Danielson faces Ethan Page. And will the Elite even the score or lose it all in match six against the Death Triangle? Balls count anywhere. Wednesday Night Dynamite's New Year's Smash, live at 8 on TBS.